happening today, just days after Hurricane Harvey's initial landfall, we continue to see shocking scenes of devastation. And now we ask what we can do to help. That's why today ABC is hosting a day of giving to benefit those impacted by Harvey. So throughout the day, there'll be a call to action to donate to the American Red Cross with the money raised going to benefit those most in need. Now, if you want to help, make a donation at redcross.org or by calling 855-999-GIVE. And now we're joined by Carolina Cardona from the Red Cross, and thanks for waking up early. No, it's great to be here, and obviously for a really great cause. And, you know, it's, it's such an important uh, issue right now that's yeah. going on, right. not only at a national level, but right now the whole world is basically watching, you know, what's going on here in, in the U.S. This must be one of the biggest responses the Red Cross has had in a long time. Definitely it is. We have um, so far thousands and thousands of volunteers on the ground right now in Houston, also in Louisiana. So we are expecting more volunteers to join in. Uh, right now, here at a local level uh, among Central Florida and Southwest Florida, we have already deployed 35 people. Wow. Uh, we are expecting to have more volunteers head out uh, to Texas and Louisiana. Right now, um, the first group already deployed, and we're expecting the second group to deploy out to uh, Louisiana. Right. And a lot of people at home may be questioning what they can do to help. What do you guys need most right now from people here in the local area? It basically, it's really the financial support, okay. the financial help, um, donations, donations via text uh, by phone, like you mentioned already, uh, www.redcross.org. It's really of, about giving that immediate assistance to the victims of this massive catastrophic disaster. Um, it's something unprecedented, uh, like FEMA already mentioned. It's a uh, massive flooding that no, you know, nobody was expecting. Right. I heard you've got 1,500 people on the ground right now, Red mm -hmm. Cross does. Yes. 230 shelters have helped 32,000 victims. Correct. Amazing numbers there. And we have supplies for, right at the moment, for up to 50,000 people to help them out with um, their immediate needs, like um, personal hygiene kits, a hot meal, right. uh, a place to stay. Right now there are, it's an estimated 67,000 homes that have been damaged. So these are people that are not going to be able to live in their homes for weeks and months to come. Right. Um, you know, they need a shelter. So right now we have 230 Red Cross shelters along with our partners opened up. We are expected to open up more shelters in the coming days. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's astonishing, that number. Yeah, and that leads me to my next question. How long will the recovery efforts take out in Houston and across Texas and Louisiana? That's a really good question, Jacqueline. It's really hard to tell at this right. point because we're still actively working and we're still going to be out there for many, many more weeks to come. So you're looking to head now toward Louisiana and perhaps even farther north as things go north with Harvey? Uh, that is still being considered. It's still in the planning stages. Yeah depending on how, you know, the, uh, the significance of the damage is right. out in that area. Right now, all eyes are on Texas then. Texas, mm -hmm. and there are three shelters opened up at, in Louisiana right now. Okay. So, and it, they are, uh, they do have right now some victims. And one last question, how do people get involved here locally mm -hmm. either, or if they want to train? I know you guys are still looking for volunteers to go out there. We are always actively recruiting volunteers. Um, I actually joined uh, about a month ago. Oh. So okay. um, we are training them uh, right now. Next week, we're actually going to have a training for um, sheltering and to be able to deploy. But you know, it's it's a great cause. It's right. I I joined because you have to have it in you. You have to have that willingness, and it's the most rewarding part of it is seeing that you can provide that relief to somebody that's going through so much distraught, stress, um, very heartbreaking situation. So the biggest reward is just seeing that momentarily relief that they go through, you know, that smile, that thank you that they yeah. offer you, that hug. So mm -hmm. it's a great cause. It's That's a great cause to volunteer for. Yeah. All right, 855-999-GIVE. Carolina, thank you for giving up your time this morning. Yeah, sure. Thank we you for you. having me on the show. Yeah. Great.